Same face, different attitude. Welcome to Recon Reactions. Now, my girlfriend's been gone for three days at the time of this recording. And I told her I would get back in style. So what I want to do is talk about the news, but make it more of a story standpoint. So for these next series coming up for the next month or more, if you like it, please share, like, and subscribe, hit that button on the road to a thousand again. I'm going to talk about specific stories one episode at a time, not three. And I want to keep it vague, but these are true stories that are happening in Puerto Rico. But because they're court cases and things that are happening, I'd rather keep it as vague as possible. I think I'll call it This Week in Puerto Rico. Now, first story of this first ever episode is called Asking a Cop for Help. Now, if you guys noticed on my channel, I put up a video of some cops helping a person change a tire and everything else, and I have no qualms against cops. I'm never gonna say that. I live in a hood, and that's productive and counterproductive what I say, but still. Now, all the way in the west side, there was this woman. Let's call her Marge. Marge was getting accosted by a bunch of people around her area and then getting a like SEG aggressive against her. So, because she knowing that most times when you try to do domestic disturbance or gender violence against another person, it usually doesn't get picked up as well or defended as well. So what does she do? She does it anyway, goes through her town on the west side, goes to the court on the west side, and asks the cop in charge in the moment when she asks that person, hey, can you help me? I'm getting accosted, I'm getting aggressively SEG'd. Please help me out. The cop said, sure, I'll help you out. And then proceeded to help her out. Now, the way that makes me sick about this, as you can see, the, the sun disappears for this particular, particular reason, is this. This particular cop, allegedly and supposedly, and I'll get to that point why I say that now, was harassing her by text, by voice, by going to her house, by doing some advances on her. He had, she had never met him a day in her life and went over there to the court to ask for help. But in doing so, got turned into a very sick situation where the cop did all these things, allegedly and supposedly. Now, let's keep it going. This woman, feeling accosted by the cop after going to the courthouse for being accosted on the street, goes to court against this cop. Lengthy, and I say lengthy like a week. And that doesn't sound great saying it, but a week passes, about a week, two weeks. They, she shows text messages and voice messages and WhatsApp chats and all these things and all the like. In the end result, court says, not guilty because of lack of evidence and hearsay and she, hearsay and she say, even though there was evidence of it. And yes, then Molina comes out, and there's a video of that. It's on my YouTube channel, it's in Spanish. And he's screaming at her, saying profanities. The woman comes out and explains her story as well. Now, again, this is a hearsay she say because he got out and apparently was innocent. What got me very interested in this case was that a few days later, just yesterday actually, in the time of this recording, a couple of representatives and mayors just, you know, promoted him. Oh, he's a good guy. Don't let anything, this, anything like this happen. But these people are connected to some things as well, some cases that are not uh, favorable to them. So until they got promoted, I would have said maybe it was hearsay and maybe she made that up to get attention because most women here, not saying most, but a sum of majority of women use the system against them but then the system is used against them and get feminicide this particular case was a fact of this cop used his power used his influence allegedly supposedly got out of court got away with it and then had people promote him in order to get away with it now a few years ago before my channel got erased i did talk about the guy who was racist to a couple people in the in the north he's still in he's still a cop he wasn't taken out, he, he, was, he was only suspended for three months with pay, and after everything, he's still on the street. 
So why do I make this video about this week in Puerto Rico, about this particular case? The reason being is that you have to remember some cases like this get swept under the rug and I don't like abuse against any person, man or woman. But when a case like this, when there's clear cut evidence of WhatsApp, voice messaging, timestamp and camera of this guy doing all these things and the, and the judge, what a coincidence is it's friends with those cops and families to those cops gets a no contest and gets non-guilty. <sighs> Stay healthy and happy. Next week, we'll have another story of this week in Puerto Rico. Some stories will be good. Some stories will be tragic. Some stories will be amazing, but there will always, key, key, key. There will always be stories of truthful things that happen here in Puerto Rico. Just generalized. So one, I don't get in trouble. And two, I don't die. Stay healthy and happy. And remember, breaking reactions on YouTube, Twitch and Twitter, Alex Coquito, everywhere else. New face, same ruthlessness. And as you can see here, I'll talk about him in the summer. Kiki.